Hi everyone, welcome to Pebbles channel. I am here to teach you how to do some experiments and then I will explain the science behind these experiments. So are you ready? Today we are going to see few experiments and one of that is related to emulsions. Yes, the word might be new to you. Before going into the experiment, there are some things you need to know. So you must have heard the word solution commonly, right? So what is a solution? In science, a solution is a mixture of two substances, a solute and a solvent. So what is a solution? It is a mixture of a solute and a solvent. So what is a solute and what is a solvent? The two substances that mix, right? The one that is present in abundant quantity is the solvent and the one that is present in lesser quantity is the solute. For example, if you mix salt in water, the water is available in more quantity, so it is the solvent and the salt is lesser in quantity, so it becomes the solute. And when you mix salt in water, you notice that it dissolves completely forming a solution. So how is a solution formed? A solution is formed by mixing a solute and a solvent. Today we are going to see a particular type of solution called an emulsion. In an emulsion, the solute and the solvent are in the liquid form and the most important point here is they don't mix together under normal conditions. For example, do you remember we have learnt miscible and immiscible liquids? Yes. And what was the example of immiscible liquid? It was oil and water. Notice that oil and water do not mix. And why was that? It was because of their difference in densities. And we saw that oil forms a separate layer above the water. We could clearly see the difference in the two layers. Now, if these two solutions do not, these, I mean the solvent and the solute, do not mix, then how do we say it is a solution? To make it to mix, we use what is called an emulsifier. So what is an emulsifier? An emulsifier is a third substance that we add in order to make the solute and the solvent mix. Example of an emulsifier, example of an emulsion is milk. Now we have two types of milk, milk with the fat content and without the fat content. Now we are going to consider milk with the fat content. Normally it does not mix, the milk and the fat do not mix. So in order to make them mix, we add an emulsifier. Another example for an emulsifier is egg yolk, yes, the yolk of an egg acts as an emulsifier. So we are going to do an experiment where I show you how an emulsifier works. So I hope you understood the science behind it.